simply invite the chairperson of council to present that report. Thank you, Excellencies. Excellence, Monsieur le Président et les Dear Excellencies, the members of the Bureau and their uh, uh, heads of state of go governments of COMESA, all uh, protocol observed. Here are, hereafter are the issues that, uh, that require to be reviewed by the conference. Given the, 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 the socio-economic and cultural devastation of the pandemic on the various sectors of the economy, uh, the Council takes note of the uh, various initiatives to uh, look into this and uh, to call upon members to join the, the, the free trade area and to also to avoid uh, of obstacles uh, uh, related to custom duties and to, uh, and to relaunch the Comesa uh, trade fairs. Also, it will uh, work on the facilitation of uh, customs uh, clearance and to, in to encourage intra commerce trade. And also, on, uh, on based on the innovations submitted in the eighth annual forum of research, we would like you to say that there are three countries that are required to to uh, sign, to ratify. If we have on the zone of free exchange, uh, the ZLECAF has started on the 1st of January 2021, and the update on the law of, uh, of growth and opportunities in Africa, AGAOA, the conference is invited to note that as of August 2021, 12 member states have already put their signature. As for the uh, the gender policy of the policy has started to be implemented, and the conference is therefore invited to, to congratulate Swat Swatini to have signed the social chart of the Commerce, and we call upon other member states that have not done so to do so as soon as possible. Also, the, the Council has adopted the strategy of youth engagement of COMESA. And as for investment, industry, and development of the private sector, the conference is happy to note that the Council has no adopted the sectorial frameworks of industry and exhorts the state members to elaborate measures to transpose internally the framework and mobilize necessary resources to, for their implementation. The, uh, the strategic plan at mid-term 2021 to 25, the conference is invited to adopt the, this strategy. The prize of the media of Comesa 2021, the conference is invited to approve the nominations of the media prizes for Comesa of Sara Maweri from Uganda and Mohammed Lotfi Yahya from Egypt. As for the uh, report on the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, we have 2.8 million of infections, which is 1.2 of uh, 1, 1, 2 percent of world global infections, and 832,000 death, with a poor follow-up. 19 member states in September 2021 had deployed vaccination campaigns. As for the decisions, the Council would call member states to use the platform and the guidelines and invites member states to uh, have a fair distribution of vaccines and encourages uh, member states to uh, work on, cam uh, on vaccination campaigns and would like to congratulate Egypt, Rwanda, and Kenya on their contribution in uh, in manufacturing the vaccines and calls upon member states to put into application 
all the recommendations of the Congress. Your Excellency, thank you for your kind attention. I extend my thanks to Mr. Edgar for his uh, uh, presentation and I'd like to open the floor for discussions around this particular report. Please take the floor. Thank you, Mr. President, for giving me the floor. Allow me at the outset to emphasize that Egypt uh, is giving great importance to push forward to continue what started in terms of the regional economic integration. As you know, the COVID-19 pandemic is still affecting the business uh, environment, either regionally or internationally. That's why we need to have more concerted uh, efforts and cooperation among member states to overcome its effects. The report presented by the Minister of Trade and Industry in Madagascar, it mentioned so many uh, issues and points as an outcome of the meeting, of the ministerial meeting, and we hope that they would be implemented according to the specified time frame to accelerate the process of the recovery of the business sector from the effects of COVID-19, holding an investment forum to present uh, the investment opportunities in member states is a very good opportunity to attract investments into the region. And I and call on the Secretariat and uh, the RIA to work hard on that according to the time schedule agreed upon during the meeting of the ministers and also need to work hard on having an integration of industrial activities through the industrialization initiative in the Kamesa presented by Egypt. This is going to have a positive impact on strengthening integration particularly also uh, the uh, uh, continental integration and Egypt is looking forward to cooperation with all member states to implement this initiative and to also to reformulate uh, the uh, value chains and to make use of resources in member states. The decision of the Ministerial Council to hold uh, an inter-trade exhibition of fair, a very good important to uh, strengthen trade among member states. And Egypt is working now in examining the idea of uh, hosting it in the second part of 2022 because it believes it's very important to strengthen inter-trade among member states. Mr. President, there are certain sectors that were negatively and hugely affected by this COVID-19, particularly tourism. And it's a major sector in all member states. That's why it's required that all of us should, that we should put a plan to resuscitate this sector and to reactivate the Wildlife and Tourism Committee in the Kermesa and call on it to hold a meeting as soon as possible. Also, cooperation in the healthcare sector requires us to accelerate the process of cooperation among the ministers of health in all member states. And we hope that we call on the Committee of Health to hold a meeting to set out an urgent plan to mitigate the effect of COVID-19 on member states. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Chair, thank you, the Prime Minister of Egypt, for your intervention. Any more interventions? Please take the floor, sir, Zimbabwe. Thank you, Your Excellency Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, Chairperson of the Kobesa Authority and President of the Arab uh, Republic of Egypt. Your Excellency Andri Rajolina, outgoing chairperson of the Kobesa Authority and President of the Republic of uh, Madagascar. Your Excellency Head of uh, State and Government. Your Excellency Madam Chileshia Mpundu Kapwepe. Uh, Honorable Ministers, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to convey apologies from His Excellency President Dr. Emerson Dambu Bamnangagwa, who could not join you today due to other pressing commitments. His Excellency President has assigned me to represent him 
at this important meeting and I will proceed to read his statement. I wish to thank you, Your Excellency President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi for convening this important meeting and for the able manner in which you are steering our deliberations. I also wish to commend His Excellency Andri Rajolina, uh, outgoing chairperson of the Comesa Authority, for his uh, commitment and able leadership for the past three years in the driving seat of our regional integration agenda. At the same time, allow me to thank the Comesa Secretary General, uh, Her Excellency Madam Chileshe Mpundu Kapwepe, and her team for their sterling work in uh, efficiently running the affairs of our organization. Your Excellency, I am pleased to note from the presentation of a lot of work uh, has been done in advancing uh, our regional integration program. Uh, despite meetings having uh, been uh, taking place virtually, the new normal we are finding ourselves in due to the COVID-19 uh, pandem pandemic. As uh, I listened intently uh, to the reports uh, just presented, I am pleased with the progress that has so far been made uh, since our last summit. One cannot help but feel proud that as Comesa, we are indeed moving in the right direction and in deepening uh, our regional integration agenda. Your Excellency, uh, you will agree with me that the world is facing great uncertainties exacerbated by the uh, novel uh, COVID-19 pandemic, which has caused untold suffering in the world, ranging from disease, a strain on health systems, subdued production, disruption of travel, trade, and so on. Zimbabwe and the Comesa region has not been spared by the pandemic. Therefore, there is need to strengthen openness, coordination, and collective approach by member states in facilitating trade and in doing business in this constraining environment. Further, there is need to safeguard the existing trading arrangements and avoid erosion of gains already made uh, in trade liberalization uh, in Comesa. In order to uh, address some of these uh, challenges and for Comesa to cope with the adverse effects of COVID-19, I urge member states to prioritize digitalization of trade instruments, uh, including e-trade, e-logistics, and e-legislation under the Comesa Digital Free Trade uh, Area Initiatives. Mr. Chairman, as a founding member of the Comesa Free Trade Area, I would like to reiterate Zimbabwe's uh, full commitment to the implementation of the provisions of the Comesa Treaty and Council decisions. To this end, my government has been pursuing a robust economic reform agenda to create an enabling macroeconomic environment and improve the ease of uh, doing uh, cross-border business in order to assist the private sector to take advantage of the opportunities presented by Comesa. A member of uh, a number of key uh, macro uh, fiscal reforms have been implemented, anchored on the national transitional stabilization uh, program, uh, TSP, which ran from the 2018, uh, from 2018 and concluded on 31st December 2020. The gains achieved under the TSP were consolidated and built up upon in the successor blueprint, the National Development Strategy, NDS-1, which is being implemented over a five-year period from 2021 to 2025. The NDS is our first five-year medium-term plan aimed at uh, realizing the country's vision 2030 
of which, uh, which uh, in which uh, we hope uh, to emerge as a prosperous and empowered upper middle income society by 2030. Your Excellencies, we note with concern that COMESA's poor competitiveness globally has been uh, attributed to the quality of infrastructure and technological ad uh, ad adoption. The persistent infrastructure uh, deficit is a major barrier to the regional integration and calls for the development of adequate and efficient infrastructure systems. Mr. Chairman, allow me to give a brief update on the infrastructure development being undertaken by Zimbabwe under the North-South Corridor to enhance uh, ease of doing cross-border business and improve uh, trade facilitation. The critical Harare bike bridge road is being rehabilitated. To date, 253 kilometers have been completed with an additional 6.5 kilometers on the Harare Trund Road. To add on to that, the uh, Robert Gabriel Mugabe International Airport is being expanded to handle more visitors and more cargo. Uh, they will, uh, this will undoubtedly uh, boost tourism and trade under Pomesa. Your, your Excellencies, in a bid to improve the efficiency of the Bridge border post as a transit port under the North-South Corridor, the border post is undergoing an, an, an extensive upgrade with phase one having been completed. The upgrading of the uh, infrastructure and transformation of the post of the port of entry will improve border operations, processes and procedures that facilitate the intra commercial uh, uh, trade and intra-African trade, as well as movement of people, goods and services. Furthermore, I would like to commend COMESA and the European Union uh, on the support provided under the Chirundu uh, border post upgrading project, uh, which uh, with the aim to enhance the smooth flow of goods, services, and people in that region. Your Excellencies, you will uh, agree with me that there is great need for continued participation and implementation of measures that curb the ad adverse effects of uh, uh, climate change. Uh, in line with the recent discussions in Glasgow, Scotland, at the COP26 under the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. In that regard, I would like to commend COMESA for the support which was given to my country under the framework of the national, nationally determined contribution partnership. The country benefited in the nationally determined contribution uh, review process. The work was completed when Zimbabwe's revised NDCs were submitted to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change in September 2021. On the uh, industrialization front, I have uh, no doubt that the Zimbabwe-Zambia Joint Industrialization Strategy uh, being facilitated by COMESA will go a long way to anchor the structural and economic transformation in both countries, uh, in the agriculture and agro-industry sectors, which are among the uh, priority areas uh, for the joint cooperation. We note uh, with concern the low intra commercial trade and urge uh, ourselves to establish mechanisms for greater collaboration in the development of sustainable value, uh, value chains in order to increase uh, intra-regional trade uh, in the, mainly in the manufactured goods. Furthermore, I urge the Commercial Secretariat and the Member States to mobilize their resources to support the implementation of the 
uh, COMESA industrialization strategy and action plan and implementation strategy of the local uh, content policy framework. Your Excellencies, we note that uh, out of the 600 million population of COMESA, the vast majority are youth. We cannot continue to do business as usual without the participation of the youth who hold more than half time. Uh, we are obliged and mandated uh, to develop policies uh, to engage youth more meaningfully. I appreciate the work done in support uh, the work done in support by COMESA uh, in the areas of youth and women empowerment, small and medium enterprises, SMEs development, which uh, resonates well with Zimbabwe's major thrust of the uh, current blueprint, the National Development Strategy 1, uh, of, uh, and I quote, leaving no one and no place behind, unquote. In conclusion, Your Excellencies, uh, on the 2021 to 2025 Comesa Medium Term Strategic Plan, uh, we recommend the adoption and launch of the blueprint which was developed and put uh, forward uh, four strategic pillars, namely market integration, uh, physical uh, integration, uh, stroke uh, connectivity, uh, productive integration, and gender and social integration. Uh, my, uh, as I conclude my remarks, uh, Honorable Chair, allow me to reaffirm Zimbabwe's full commitment to the regional integration agenda through uh, honoring our obligations under the Comesa Treaty. I thank you, Your Excellencies, for listening to me. I'd like to thank Zimbabwe for your intervention. Any more interventions? And I announce the end of discussions around this particular item and report the concerned and adopt the concerned report by including the proposal of Egypt into this report. Excellency, on your on the program of your summit, the next item which is for discussion is the Secretary General's statement on the status of integration. If you may allow, Excellency, could I invite Her Excellency, the Secretary General of the Common Market, to present on that item. I thank you. Thank you, Excellency. Chair of the Authority, Excellencies, Heads of State and Government, present and those joining us virtually, distinguished delegates, participants, all protocols observed. It is now my honor to present to the summit highlights of the state of integration for the common market for the period since our last meeting, 2018 to 2021. My presentation will outline background, key achievements during the period 2018 2021, constraints and challenges, and then moved to a way forward. By way of background, in 2019, Comesa celebrated 25 years or its silver jubilee as a regional economic community. This milestone provided an opportunity for the block to reflect on the journey traveled thus far in its quest to promote regional integration and uplift the well-being of the citizens. Moving to key achievements, under trade liberalization, membership of Comesa free trade area increased from 15 to 16 with entry of Tunisia in 2020, and intra-regional exports increased from 1.5 billion to two, in 2000 to 10.9 billion in 2019. Trade facilitation instruments aimed at the removal of non-tariff barriers lowering of trade costs and at borders and improving trade infrastructure. Moving to trade facilitation 
Uh, another key achievement area of focus is the digital free trade area. This has brought renewed focus on three aspects. One is e-commerce to support trading on online platforms, e-legislation to facilitate rules and regulations in the new trading environment, and e-logistics to support trade facilitation through use of digital documentation. On trade facilitation instrument includes the Comesa electronic certificate of origin and online system of reporting non-tariff barriers in a bid to facilitate trade and business across borders. Another key achievement is in trade facilitation instruments is the continued implementation of the enhanced simplified trade regime, the transport and transit guidelines on movements of essential goods and services adopted in May 2020, and the COVID-19 platform launched in July 2020 to share information on availability of goods and services, especially essential commodities and services in the pandemic area. In support of Africa's economic integration, there are key achievements to be reported under this, uh, this line. The Comesa ESC tripartite agreement fosters market integration, infrastructure, and industrial development to overcome trade and development challenges and enhance regional and continental integration. To a total of 26 signatures have been received so far from member and states and 11 ratifications. Three more are required to reach the required threshold that will bring the TFTA into force when 14 ratifications of the agreements are reached. Moving on to capacity building, the object of this is to strengthen evidence-based policy formulation. The virtual Comesa master's degree program in regional integration has begun and the program has commenced in two universities in Kenya and Mauritius with three more coming on board. In addition, there is a continuation of the annual research forum and innovation awards which award and give incentive to young innovators. Moving to agriculture. Comesa has continued to support the implementation of CADAP and has developed food security tools to enhance market access in agricultural products. The Comesa Green Pass, in which facilitating small scale trade borders and developed regional labels and certificates to promote regional seed trade and the seed variety catalog. Under industrialization, guidelines on increasing sustainable and inclusive industrial production during the COVID-19 pandemic era, regional local content policy framework has been developed to encourage local production content and value addition and regional frameworks of managing special economic zones and industrial parks. Sectors identified also include agro-processing, energy, textiles and garments, leather and leather products, pharmaceuticals, and the blue economy. Moving to infrastructure, Comesa recognizes infrastructure as an enabler for regional integration. We are supporting transport and transit facilitation instruments, harmonizing and domesticating regional transport policies, supporting construction of power connectors and domestication of energy policy and regulatory frameworks. Under ICT development, Comesa effort embraces the fourth industrial revolution driven by a new generation of information technology that opens new horizons for trade and industry. Comesa is also developing policies to promote private sector investment, open access, and ICT infrastructure sharing. 
Moving on to gender and social development, COMESA promotes gender equality and empowerment of women and youth. Together with EAC and ECOWAS, a one-stop digital platform, the 50 million African women speak, was launched and the platform provides opportunities for markets of women in the 38 countries in the supporting uh, RECs. They also um, installed the COMESA Youth Advisory Panel to enhance youth participation in regional development and governance. Moving forward, we call upon member states, one, to ratify and domesticate agreed regional integration tools and instruments, two, to honor timely payment of annual contributions to support implementation of regional programs, to make operational the provisions of Article 168 of the treaty, establish the common market levy as a priority to support and encourage private sector to play a more active role in the integration process and to allow to address low productivity, value addition, and diversification of products and markets. And lastly, to liberalize services sectors as a priority in order to enhance productivity, spare growth, and complement the gains made in tariff liberalization. As I move to conclude, COMESA, together with its 11 institutions and specialized agencies, will remain responsive, relevant, and resilient as we support our member states to, con to continue with their development agenda in line with the summit theme of building resilience through strategic digital economic integration. With these highlights of the strategic and state of integration, I thank you for your attention. I would like to thank uh, the SG of the Commissar for her detailed report on the status of uh, economic integration in the Commissar. And I wish her and the team of the Secretariat, I wish them all the best in implementing the decisions of member states with regarding the way forward to strengthen and deepen this integration. And by that, I announce uh, we came to the end of this item. Let's move to the following uh, to the following item, heads of states, heads of delegations. The member states pay humongous attention to listen to the visions and ideas of the business community and to consider them and to support the activities of business in the Kamesa region during this stage to overcome the COVID-19 challenges. Allow me to invite Mr. Mordai Finkata, head of the CBC, to present the CBC report. Please take the floor, sir. LCC President of the Republic of Egypt and incoming chairperson of the Commissar Authority. Votre Excellence, Monsieur le Président Sortant. His Excellency, uh, the outgoing President, the, the President of uh, Madagascar, Mr. André Bajolini. The General of Commissar, distinguished participants, all protocol observed. We, the regional business community, under the umbrella of the Comesa Business Council, herein present Comesa Business Declaration that was adopted by the 15th Comesa Business Forum under the theme Bring Back Better for Business, addressing industry requirements towards recovery, expressing our utmost appreciation of the mandate and the platform that has been given to the Comesa Business Council by the member states to the Commissar Secretariat to have a direct engagement with the Commissar policy makers, affirming the strong relationship between Commissar and the private sector, acknowledging the efforts being made by member states towards addressing the COVID-19 pandemic 
and steps taken to contain the pandemic and prevent it from further spread in the region, affirming the need to develop and implement measures that will accelerate recovery of businesses in Comesa region from the effects of COVID-19 pandemic, also affirming at the private sector the theme of the 21st summit of the Comesa head of state on building resilience through strategic digital economic integration as an agenda for the region to advance the Comesa business, the Comesa regional integration agenda using digital platforms, appreciating the endorsement of member states towards the CDC to host the Comesa Taste for Africa Trade Fair in 2022 and subsequently every two years to provide to facilitate business linkages, partnership and joint ventures for the private sector in the Comesa region. We hereby declare, de declare as follows. On digital financial inclusion for trade, member states are requested to consider the industry-led draft model digital payment policy for micro, small, and medium enterprises for Comesa region, which was validated and adopted by key stakeholders. On agro-industry manufacturing sector, in order to enhance the competitiveness of the agro-industry manufacturing, member states are urged to develop mutual recognition frameworks for pre-packaged food in the Comesa region to facilitate the smooth movement across the borders without being subjected to retesting additional procedures and fees, develop a framework to facilitate implementation of product standards within the Comesa region and harmonize procedure for pre-market approvals in Comesa region. On addressing illicit trade in Comesa region, member states are urged to develop Comesa anti-illicit trade regulatory framework to enhance exchange of information, law enforcement cooperation, legal and technical assistance. Member states are further called upon to consider the ratification of the protocol on elimination of illicit trade in tobacco products and sensitize stakeholders on the tracking and tracing system as provided under the protocol. Member states are further called upon to support the application for the observer status to, to participate into the, in the WHO FCTC meeting of parties, parties to the protocol to eliminate illicit trade on tobacco products. On pharmaceutical and healthcare services sector, Member states are urged to harmonize registration requirements, including inspection of drugs, due variation of the registration requirements in Comesa member states, and establish schemes to facilitate local manufacturers to import all their inputs tax-free, including removal of applicable fees and charges, or source their inputs tax-free. Member states are further urged to set up a high level coordination committee within the policy meetings on trade, industry, and agriculture that will periodically review the constraints and issues faced by the pharma and healthcare services sector. On the duty-free retail sector, member states are urged to increase stakeholder awareness on the role and potential of travel retail for African airports industry in terms of revenue, employment, supply and chain partnership. On the empowerment of women in cross-border trade, member states are urged to establish a public-private platform that fosters dialogue, collaboration between women farmers and government representatives to ensure favorable agriculture policies and the effective promotion of women in agri-trade. Member states are urged to provide market and trade information to women across border trade and further encouraged to promote digital financial inclusion with a specific focus on the institutional capacity building of national women associations. On trade facilitation within African continental free trade area, the member states are invited to fast track 
the conclusion on the negotiations of trade instruments, especially on tariff elimination schedules and rules of origin to accelerate, accelerate the implementation of the ACFTA. Prioritize the development of the mutual recognition framework and the harmonization of product standards in order to facilitate intra-Africa trade. Develop a continental simplified trade regime which will allow movement of goods based on low value of consignment to support small cross-border traders, especially women and youth. Establish sensitization awareness and business capacity building programs for the business community on SEFTA benefits, opportunities, and market access requirements to be implemented by the national and regional business associations. We, Comesa Business Council, the voice of the private sector in the Comesa, commit ourselves to fulfilling the above decisions of the 14th Comesa Business Declaration 2021. And I thank you for your attention. Shukran. I'd like to thank Mr. Finkata for his detailed report and for all the proposals by the CBC and uh, request the Secretariat to consider all the proposals in this report and to work on implementing them with regards to the integration programs of the Commissar. And now I announce the end of this item and we move to the following to the following item. Ladies and gentlemen, and now we move to the item related to launching the MTSP 2021 till 2025 of the Comesa. Heads of states, heads of governments, ladies and gentlemen, it's a great honor to launch the MTSP 2021-2025 for the Comesa under the chairmanship of Egypt of Comesa. This strategy reflects the bona fide and the serious efforts of member states to build up on what has been achieved in the past few years to deepen and strengthen economic integration and to achieve economic development in member states. That would certainly contribute to improving the living standards and social standards also of member states. And member states cooperated with the, secretar with the secretariat through a long series of technical uh, intensive meetings to prepare this strategy for the purpose of compl to uh, complement the continental and regional objectives in line with the global and continental development strategy and that would push forward the integration within the FTA of the tripartite, the ECA, COMESA and SADC. Heads of states, ladies and gentlemen, this MTSP reflects the ambitions of member states and the desire to set out a good plan to achieve the highest levels of economic integration and to set out a clear vision for market integration, financial and production integration, and also in different other areas like the social affairs among member states. So it turns into a main drive to achieve the objectives of development and mutual cooperation in all areas at the medium term, and it gives momentum also to the long-term objectives, certainly. This strategy is accompanied with a number of challenges uh, in the global economy due to the COVID-19 and its negative effects on the member states' economies. And this requires exerting more efforts in terms of coordination to maintain the health of citizens in the region because they are the main drive for economic development and economic integration in the region. Despite all these challenges, I'm sure that the concerted efforts of member states with the Secretariat and also the development partners are going to contribute in implementing all sorts of activities in the MTPSP 
as efficient as required, and also to work hard on harmonizing the national policies and to revise the implementation of the MTSP regularly and to tie it to the national visions and objectives. This is going to ensure the efficient implementation of it, and it would achieve its objectives by deepening economic integration in the COMESA and to also improve the growth rates in the member states, heads of states, ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to officially announce uh, the launching of the MTSP 2021 till 2025 uh, for the Commessa and extend my wholeheartedly thanks for those who prepared this MTSP. And I wished all sorts of prosperity and success for the people of member states and all the African people. Allow me now to deliver the MTSP to the Secretariat of the Commissar. I'll hand it over to the SG. Now I announce the end of this uh, item and adopting the NTSP of the Commessa from uh, 2021 till 2025. And by that, uh, we completed all the proposed items on our uh, agenda for the plenary session. Allow me to extend my wholehearted thanks to all the delegations for their active participation. Allow me to announce the end of this session and, and that we're starting the closing session. I give the floor to the moderator. Thank you very much, Excellency. Excellencies, it is my honor and privilege to call for the next item, which is the final communique of the 21st Summit of the Commerce Authority of Heads of State and Government. And I will invite Her Excellency, the Secretary General of the Common Market, to present this item to summit. I thank you. Excellency. The Chair of the Commissar Authority, Excellencies, Heads of State and Government present and those joining us virtually, it is my honor to read the, 21st, the communique of the 21st Summit of the Authority of Heads of State and Government of the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa. The summit was hosted in hybrid form at Almasa International Conference Center new administrative capital, Cairo, and the Arab Republic of Egypt on 23rd November 2021 under the theme, Building Resilience Through Strategic Digital Economic Integration, in attendance where heads of state and government of Egypt, Libya, Madagascar, Burundi, Mauritius, Rwanda, Seychelles, Somalia, and Tunisia, and vice presidents of Malawi, Uganda, and Zambia and ministers from Comoros, DRC, Kenya, and Zimbabwe, and the Secretary General of Comesa. Partners on organization in attendance included African Union Commission, African Development Bank, Africa Continental Free Trade Area, East African Community, Southern African Development Community, Commonwealth Secretariat, and the World Bank. In opening the summit, His Excellency, Mr. Andre Rajolina, President of the Republic of Madagascar, an outgoing chair of the authority, called the summit to order. Elected by acclamation was His Excellency, Mr. <coughs> Abdel Fattah Sisi, President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, as chairman, Mr. Mohamed Younes Al Menfi, President of the Libyan Presidential Council, as vice chairman of the 21st summit of the authority, and His Excellency, Mr. Andre Rajolina, President of the Republic of Madagascar, as Rapporteur of the Commerce Authority. 
His Excellency, the President of the Arab Republic of Egypt, recognized and expressed gratitude to His Excellency, President of the Republic of Madagascar, for the service Madagascar as Chair of the Commerce Authority since October 26. His Excellency, the President, Mr. Fata, Del Fatah El Sisi, thanked the authority for the honor bestowed upon Arab Republic of Egypt as Chairman of the Authority and pledged to provide full support to advancing COMESA's integration programs. The following heads of state and government made statements Tunisia, Burundi, Libya, Mauritius, Rwanda, Seychelles, Somalia, and vice presidents from Malawi, Uganda, Zambia, ministers from DRC, and Kenya. In addition, the following heads and representatives of regional economic communities and other international organization made statements, COMESA, African Union Commission, Africa Development Bank, and the World Bank. After the formal opening of the summit, the authority noted the report of the Secretary General of the State of Integration and COMESA, noted the report of the COMESA Business Council, considered and adopted the report of the 42nd meeting of the Council of Ministers, considered and adopted the report of the 17th meeting of the COMESA Ministers of Foreign Affairs on COVID pandemic and recovery, noted the devastated socioeconomic and cultural effects of COVID-19 pandemic across various sectors of the economy and the low vaccine production and access in the region, commended Egypt, Rwanda, and Uganda, and other member states that are taking initiatives for vaccine production, as well as called for fair global distribution of vaccines, particularly for Africa. Commended the Secretariat member states for various initiatives undertaken to mitigate the negative effects of the pandemic and endorsed the establishment of a multi-sectoral technical committee on health matters to coordinate and support regional programs at the Secretariat in line with Article 110 of Commercial Treaty urged member states to invest in digital infrastructure to enhance universal access to internet to address the challenges arising from the digital divide and support digitalization of the economies urged member states to scale up investment in research and innovation in health and sector to prioritize all programs that would enhance social economic recovery and generate more resilient societies that are ready to respond to disasters that may come urged member states to support the Africa COVID-19 vaccine development and access strategy and expedite vaccine rollout as a sure path towards sustainable recovery. On the COMESA annual report, launched the 2020 COMESA annual report. On the medium-term strategic plan, the summit endorsed and launched the medium strategic plan 2021-2025 for COMESA on legal and corporate affairs, appointed and saw in Lady Justice Salohoi Randia Narisoa to the bench of the Common Commerce Court of Justice Appellate Division. On the Commerce Free Trade Area, commended the Republic of Tunisia for joining the Commerce FTA on 1st January 2020. Urged the Fed Federal Republic of Somalia to fast track the process of acceding to the common market for Eastern and Southern Africa and joining the COMESA FTA, urged other member states who have not yet done so to, to join the FTA, urged member states to eliminate non-tariff barriers to trade and address structural challenges to reduce cost of doing business, re-emphasize the important role played by private sector in enhancing regional integration and endorsed the revival of the commercial trade fairs to exploit trade potential of the region, noted the progress made in implementation of trade facilitation programs, including the digital free trade area and adoption of customs and trade facilitation program 2021-2023, noted the importance of trade in services and called upon member states to expedite liberalization of services in the region in order to enhance intra-commercial trade. On infrastructure development, welcome the progress made on various infrastructure programs on road, railway transport, water and maritime transport, civil aviation, energy, information, and communication technology. Noted the financing, technical assistance, and capacity building opportunities available 
under the Regional Infrastructure Finance Facility of the World Bank and the progress of the implementation of the power interconnected projects in the region. Encourage member states to adopt and implement commercial tripartite transport and transit facilitation instruments to improve corridor efficiency and to continue with programs to upgrade and maintain corridor infrastructure and facilities. Urged member states to roll out ICT infrastructure in underserved areas to promote universal access and affordable internet. On gender, recognize the importance of the use of artificial intelligence and digitalization in enhancing production, trade, investment, and innovation. On gender and social affairs, endorsed the Commercial Gender Policy Implementation Plan to strengthen gender mainstreaming at all levels. Commended Eswatini, Madagascar, Malawi, Mauritius, and Seychelles on the signing of the Social Charter and urged member states that have not yet done so to sign. Endorsed the establishment of the Commercial Youth Advisory Panel to foster engagement of youth in policy dialogue. On agriculture, industry, and private sector development, endorsed the scaling up of the agricultural productivity and value addition initiatives to enhance competitiveness, agricultural value addition, and food security. Adopted the industry sectoral frameworks and urged member states to develop measures to domesticate the frameworks and mobilize resources needed for their implementation. Recognize the importance of developing blue economy through balanced sustainable economic development and environmental protection in COMESA. Urged member states to intensify the efforts to combat climate change given its disruptive weather patterns leading to extreme weather events, unpredictability, scarcity of water supply, and its contamination. Called for the expeditious harmonization and mutual recognition of standards to facilitate intra commercial trade. On the commercial EAC SADAC tripartite agreement arrangement, call, recalled that the commercial EAC SADAC tripartite free trade area TFTA was launched in June 2015 in Sharm Sheikh, Egypt. Recognize the importance of the tripartite agreement in resolving challenges of multiple membership in the three RECs and of championing and expediting continental integration process. Noted that the following 11 tripartite member states have submitted instruments of ratification. Botswana, Burundi, Egypt, Eswatini, Kenya, Namibia, Rwanda, South Africa, Uganda, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Noted that the tripartite agreement only requires three more ratifications for it to enter into force and called on commercial member states that have not yet ratified to do so. On democracy and governance, reiterated the importance of democracy and good governance in the maintenance of peace and security, stability, and urged member states to continue strengthening democratic processes, structures, and institutions in order to consolidate democracy and governance. Congratulated and welcomed to the commercial authority, the heads of states and government of DRC, Tunisia, Burundi, Malawi, Seychelles, Libya, and Zambia. Also congratulated on their re-election, heads of states and government of Zimbabwe, Comoros, Mauritius, Uganda, Djibouti, and Ethiopia. Expressed appreciation to commercial election observer missions and particularly the Committee of Elders on their role in supporting the consolidation of democracy in the region. Swore in three members of the Commercial Committee of Elders that were appointed during the 21st Summit of the Authority, namely Mrs. Daudry from Djibouti, Ambassador Rashid from Egypt, and Madame Esowa Velo Mandroso from Madagascar. On peace and stability, reiterated the importance of peace, security, and stability for creating an enabling environment for investment, sustained economic development, and a viable integration for the region. Lauded the signing of the 2020 ceasefire agreement in Libya and commended the stakeholders on their commitment to attainment of lasting peace in the country. Welcome the roadmap developed by Libya, Libya Political Dialogue Forum towards free, fair, and inclusive presidential election on 24th December 2021 
and called on all parties to redouble efforts to ensure that the elections are held on schedule. Called on member states to, rep to respect the ceasefire agreement and to fully comply with arms embargo, reiterated its call for the withdrawal of all foreign forces, mercenaries from all Libyan territories, land, sea, without delay. Noted the problem of illegal immigration places at a lot of pressure on Libya as a tr transit state and emphasize that the problem requires a political solution for its resolution and called on European Union and commercial member states to support socioeconomic programs, particularly for the youth. Mm -hmm. Commended the Federal Republic of Somalia, FGS, led by President Mohamed Abdullahi Mohamed and Federal Member States, FMS, for reaching an agreement in September 2020 on the modalities to conduct elections urged the federal government of Somalia, the AU, the UN, to engage in Somalia under the UN and AU umbrella on the basis of a comprehensive approach that combines the military and civilian com components, taking into consideration the views and aspirations of the Somalia people for a sovereign, united, and prosperous, prosperous Somalia post-2021. Expressed appreciation to the true contributing countries to AMISOM, namely Burundi, Djibouti, Ethiopia, Kenya, and Uganda for the sacrifices they continue making for the promotion of peace, security, stability, and reconciliation in Somalia. Welcome the agreement of the November 21, 2021 to reinstate Prime Minister Abdallah Hamdok and to restore civilian rule in Sudan and urge that every effort be made to lead Sudan towards close adherence to the timelines of transition. Welcomed the other elements in the November 2021 20, agreement on Sudan, including the restoration of the Council of Ministers and release of political detainees. Encouraged the political leaders in Sudan to expedite the creation of a unified army, as well as drafting of a new constitution that will, among other, among other things, outline the partnership between civilian and military in the transition government. Expressed concern of the continued fighting in Tigray, Amhara, and Afar regional states in Ethiopia, and called on all parties to immediately cease hostilities and engage in constructive dialogue to end the crisis. Con condemn strongly the atrocities committed by ADF, Kodeko, Mai Mai, and FDLR combatants and condoled with the government of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Encouraged Burundi and Rwanda to continue in their efforts and cooperation to improve security situation in common border area. Noted with appreciation, the efforts by Rwanda and Sadak in, Mo in Mozambique, as well as efforts by member states and other regional international stakeholders in the counter-terrorism efforts in the region. Took note of the adverse effects of climate change and stand in solidarity with the member states that have faced devastating socioeconomic impacts of these natural disasters and urged member states to strengthen their national disaster response, mitigation, and management structures. Express solidarity with the government of Madagascar, which is facing famine caused by climate change in the southern part of the country. Appealed to member states and partners to adopt actions to mitigate the effects of climate change in light of the objectives of the COP26. Commended commercial member states and cooperating partners for supporting maritime security in the Western Indian Ocean. Congratulated Egypt for being selected to host the UN Climate Change Convention, COP27, on behalf of the continent of Africa. On cooperating partners, expressed appreciation to cooperating partners for sustained solidarity and urged them to continue supporting COMESA. On support from COMESA member states, organs, institutions, and specialized agencies, noted with appreciation the contribution made by COMESA member states, organs, institutions, and specialized agencies in promoting the COMESA integration agenda. Swore in Mr. Lloyd Nkoma, Mr. Muhammad Montaz, Ms. Beatrice Uwukiza, Ms. Megasu Moach as a new commission for the Comesa Competition Commission. 
the authority adopted its final communique as read by the Secretary General of the Commercial Market, done at Cairo, the Arab Republic of Egypt, this 23rd day of November 2021 in Arabic, English, and French languages, and all texts being equally authentic. I submit, Excellency Chair. In the name of God, the compassion of the merciful heads of state and government, distinguished attendees, allow me to um, thank you all for all the efforts exerted today. They have been um, uh, tangible efforts. Um, we have uh, reached the end of our agenda. I would like to thank you a lot, and especially her Excellency is Secretary General of COMESA, and I would like to thank all those who have contributed to the organization of this summit. Thank you for the great efforts exerted uh, to organize this summit despite uh, the big challenges that we are facing due to the pandemic of COVID-19. What we have achieved today reflects uh, the um, strong will of the COMESA member states to reach the regional integration of the, um, um, uh, the agenda of the regional integration. And this through the liberalization of the trade in our countries and develop the infrastructure and achieve the, develop, the industrial development and attract more investments um, for the region. This uh, summit uh, has reached tangible results that have to do with the framework of the medium strategic, uh, medium term strategic plan of the Commissar, the MTSP, that reflect as well all the visions that have been studied well by the member states in all the fields. And thus, we feel committed to take the appropriate measures and procedures that are going to allow us to implement the, AF, the, the AFSTA in all the member states. And this is the objective that when we achieve, the intra-trade is going to be converted into a key motor that's going to lead the increase of the production. And it's going to enhance the uh, industrial and agricultural production in all the member states. And this is going to be reflected in a positive manner uh, with respect to the uh, development, the stable development that we aspire to. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, achieving the highest grades of regional economic integration in the Comesa region obliges us to give an opportunity to all the key actors that contribute directly to the achievement of the economic development in the member states, especially the private sector, the business actors, due to the pivotal role that they play to enhance the intra-trade between the uh, countries, uh, member states uh, of the Commission. And thus, we have uh, to enhance the communication with the private uh, sector and the business communities in the Commission region to identify their needs and their aspirations and to eliminate all the obstacles and restrictions that they are facing. And this is a part and parcel of the achievement of the success of the agenda of the regional integration that we have adopted in uh, the Comesa region. And thus, I would like to highlight the efforts exerted by the CBC, the Comesa Business Council. I would like to thank uh, the Council for its efforts with respect to studying the opportunities that are available in the member states. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, um, the COMESA is very important with respect to the Egyptian economy. And we assume our responsibilities to achieve the objectives of the COMESA during our chairmanship. Uh, 
of a, the authority of the Commissar, and we are going to commit ourselves to the achievement of all the objectives and all of the recommendations that you have raised. I would like to call upon you all to participate in the implementation of this vision and to support us in this implementation to achieve the aspired and expected objectives to serve the benefit uh, to serve all the people of the African continent your excellencies heads of state and government before concluding the summit we cannot dismiss and we cannot ignore uh, um, addressing thanks to the President of the Court of Justice of the Commission. I would like to congratulate as well the new commissioners, the new members of the Committee of the Elders, and I wish them all the best of luck to um, reach uh, or to achieve the benefit for all the African uh, people. I would like as well to congratulate uh, the media officials that have uh, achieved the excellence uh, awards um, from Comessa, and I would like to enhance uh, the role played by the media to support the objectives aspired to by the Commissa. Allow me to seize this opportunity before concluding our summit today. I would like to call upon you all to participate in the, uh, uh, in the implementation of the Egyptian vision uh, to serve our people. I would like also to reiterate the Egyptian support and the continuous support that we are going to render to all the African people to achieve the economic integration, regional integration. And we believe in the strong will of the African people led by their countries to achieve peace, security, stability, and justice because they are the key pillars to the achievement of the sustainable economic development. At the end, I would like to announce the end of the uh, 21st summit, and I ask God to help us to achieve uh, the uh, objectives and satisfy the needs of our people. Thank you so much, and peace be upon you all. Yeah.